everybody and welcome to this week's episode of Jing TV. Today we have a very special guest in the studio who's going to help us talk about choosing a name for your business. Welcome everybody. So today we have a very special guest, our lovely creative designer, graphic designer, Andrew Dinley. Um, and we're going to talk today about choosing a name for your business. And, and with your it, brand. And really. your brand, that's right. And we've invited Andrew because he was very instrumental in helping us choose the name for Jing. Um, so I'd like to kick the discussion off just by actually talking about how we chose the <laughs> oh name no. for Jing. Oh, oh no. no, the pain. Because uh, we actually found here some scribbles from when <laughs> a we A long went time ago. Ago. long time ago so just to set the scene and then I'm gonna hand over to Andrew Um, I when Meg and I came back to the UK in 2002 two, two. to set up Jing uh, we were both working full-time yeah. or Meg was studying I was working we started running massage courses but we didn't really have a name for the business well did we? Rachel had a name yeah well I was really busy and <laughs> never oh, no really had time to think about it so I came up with this really bad name which was dab hands right and, and I wanted to say that like I didn't really understand yeah. what that meant in England i.e people said to me later you know that sounds like a cleaning company yeah uh, and not only was it dab hands it was dab hands with a z at the end which is <laughs> even more embarrassing oh. uh, and there are some jing students out there who have a certificate which is from dab hands massage anyway the story goes Andrew's been a dear friend of mine for many years um, and he's a graphic designer so I went to Andrew and said can you create a logo for our new company Dab Hands <laughs> and he came back and was like no <laughs> you need to get a new name for your business so Andrew let's take it from there about how you guided us through the process I suppose the first thing to say is that no logo no name ever sounds right straight away yeah. you, know, you know go that's the one and even with Jing it didn't feel yeah. like did no, it, it and, didn't. and even when we chosen Jing in fact, none of us chose Jing initially. No, none of us chose Jing. Really sort of second yeah. or third yeah, option. Really yeah. Um, so nothing feels right p immediately. So it's often about kind of growing into your name and growing into mm. your brand and, and getting used to it. Yeah. But the first point to start, at, I I always find, is to just write down keywords that are relevant to what your business does or yeah. what your ambitions are or what your inspirations are. Mm -hmm. And they can be quite random words. So I'm kind of just trying to justify some of the nonsense. <laughs> some of the, some of the ones that you'll see on your screen. So do you so, want to read so some we, out for the viewers? So there, we, we, quite we wrote down some keywords, yeah. things like, um, it, well... <laughs> well, they're all well, awful, aren't they? Actually? I mean, there was yeah. a beginning part, wasn't there? Yeah. Which, or maybe at some point we got to the idea that you know Eastern approaches were something yes. that was really important right, to us. Right. So we started out with things like the Dow. Yeah, <laughs> and, no, the Dow. And there, that. Shen we've and got we've got Dow, and then next we've got towel. <laughs> <laughs> there was obviously some thought process there about Dow and draping, maybe soft liquid bubble. Yeah. yeah. So Strength. I think that was you saying, oh, tell us some names. And we've gone glide, slide, sloosh, swish, swift, strength. But, but it was all about, that was all about softness. Yeah. That was yeah. around clouds. and But that came from another name, which yeah. was, was Cloud Hands. I was yeah. never into that. Office. Me and Andrew really wanted to call the business Cloud Hands. I do not have yeah. it. I thought we thought it was a good name. Was, and it's an name of Tai Chi. Could have done a lovely logo for it. Yeah. Long, but, um, so... So we had these words, and then we started getting quite abstract with it and kind of inventing yeah. words. So we've yeah. got things like... Um, Takare. So I think that was like, oh, what are other words for touch in different languages? So I think yes. Takare was touch yes. in Italian. Yeah. Yeah. Um, flu I mean, I think that's really interesting, that whole run there. So from Nimbus to Fluid to Fluido to Flib to Ebb. You know, kind of, you yeah. were really asking us about sound, yes. right? Yeah. And what, and what we wanted what to felt communicate. Right, you know, when someone says, well, who do you work for? You don't mm. want to have to kind of come out with this huge, long name. No. Yeah. And Jing just worked really well. I mean, over time, we've added things to mm. it, Jing Massage and then the Jing Institute, Institute. Yeah, yeah. and all of that. But So, I mean, that was essentially what we did, wasn't it? There, yeah. was, there was four was of playful. us. Yeah. We yeah. brainstormed loads of words, and then we came out with the five top words that, that we, we liked and yeah. um, there is another piece of paper somewhere with that yeah. on and I think there was Jing 
Um, the other Forward. thing that we did was we checked whether there was already a, a business existing yeah, so with that Shen name. Yeah, so really liked yeah. and already it's, had something. It's devastating when you think you've come up with this really original <laughs> name and then there's yeah. already a business. So, you know, very easy these days with Google, just put it in whatever yeah. your website name might be. Obviously, you need to check that out, whether there's somebody else existing. So I think we had five words down the page mm. and then we voted our first, second and third preferences, yeah. didn't we? Four of us. I think as well it's important to pick a word that's easy to spell. Mm, if, you yeah. have to spe- if you have to say to someone it's spelled this, 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 it's, it's instantly there's a barrier there. There's a, it's hard to misspell yeah, the word yeah. jing. And yeah. also the sound, you know, people like to say it, you mm. know that, and it was short, it was punchy. Andrew felt like he could do a lot with the logo around mm. that. Um, and also jing meant something, yes. so it wasn't a made up word. So yeah. jing is actually a Chinese word for a particular type of chi, a particular kind of energy that helps for transformation. Mm, yeah. And that really, I think that for me anyway, was the thing that really grabbed it. It's like, oh, that makes sense. Because mm. actually, that is what yeah. we're trying to do. We're helping yeah. people try to transform their business, trying to mm. work more mm. and their own personal development. So mm. Jing was born. Jing was born. And I do think that idea of getting other people involved, I read something yes. about if you try and get people to guess the number of sweets in a jar, Actually, individuals are not that accurate, but if you take the mean of, say, 10 individuals, oh, right. they're really yeah, yeah, accurate. Yeah. So yeah. actually getting a number of people together, maybe coming up with five names, getting them to vote as we did. Because what was interesting on the voting was Jing was none of our first choices, right. but it was all of our third, third choices. Choice. So the name that seems great to you might not seem great to somebody else, right. but actually the yeah. average of all your opinion. Uh, so that would be my top tip for name your business. And it was, it's a dynamic word as well. Yeah. It's kind of a bit like Batman, pow, bang thing. It yeah. works. You can read Jing very small yeah. as well. Yeah. So, so when you're looking... But all of those things have come out subsequently. At the time, I was like, yeah, okay, seems okay. Yeah. It's the best. Yeah. That, but it's really grown on us, I think. Yeah. Yeah. And the people who work with us like to play around with it. So students call themselves all sorts of incarnations of Jing. They're Jingers. They've been Jinged. Yeah. Yeah. jing it's, <laughs> it's a Jing thing. It's a Jing, it's a jing thing. thing. I always like the Christmas thing, Jingle bells anyway, anyway but um if you're looking to do it get some people around get some educated people around you like we have the wonderful andrew dinley um certainly family not so helpful friends <laughs> maybe if they're in the professional yeah. business of building brands so check out the brand which actually da- um what's your name again andrew, andrew <laughs> dinley daniel <laughs> um, andrew help us build and design um at www.jingmassage.com. Also, all the courses are on the shop there, yeah. the online courses, um, how to treat low back pain, and also our foundation course. And you can get involved in the discussion on Facebook and Twitter. And also with those social media elements, I you am. can really start to ask lots of questions All right, how you to build a brand. You can check out the opinions on Twitter, can't you? Yeah. That, this is what I'm thinking of for my uh, name of my business. What do you think? Well, we'll see you next time. Thanks for tuning in.